Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Eleven S. Sorry it's been a bit, but ah. today we're gonna continue. We left Science Quest, and now we are heading onward to find one of our friends and hopefully defeat the Shadow Lord. I'm pretty good. We're getting close to my main party. Yeah, I will say Sulando is not going to be in my final party. Neither is another person. But I'm not going to say yet. And cutscenes. So still away. Oh. That doesn't sound good. We should probably go check. I'll take my weapon just in case. You. Well, what do you know? Is it that Eric? My first boyfriend! Are you okay, man? Is everything alright in here? I brought the whole gang just in case. Alright, well, laddie, he's obviously not okay. Annie, is it really you? You're alive, laddie. I knew you would be. Eric does not oh, seem like himself. Have had a while. If you remember, he kind of lost his memories. And the side stories. Which in the original game you wouldn't know that. So at this point you'd be like, you'd be surprised and wonder what on earth happened to good old Eric. Why has he been through to use his memories? And I saw you loading this boat with food and Bless his heart. Yeah, he is. You, you said Eric, right? I, I'm pretty sure that's my name, but do I know you or something? Oh. Do you remember us, laddie? You know, part so you're seeing a more vulnerable side of Eric. I, I'm sorry. I don't remember anything. I woke up and, and, and everything was dark and... I had no idea who I was. Oh, there. I remember my name. And I know there's something important I have to do. But apart from that... Look, I know I have no right to ask you this, but... Could I tag along with you guys for a while? If you know who I am, it might help me to remember something. I promise I'll pay you back for the food I took. I'll swap the decks, clean the dishes, anything. Sure, buddy. You don't have to be our servant. There'll be no need for that, buddy. <laughs> you stick with us. I'm sure your memory will be back soon enough. What do you say, darling? Shall we forgive our little stowaway and welcome him back with open arms? Duh, yes. Thank you so much. I promise I won't get in your way. You won't regret this. Aww. Get our first party member back. We'll take care of him. <laughs> He's lost his memory and gained some manners. I wish Veronica were here to see this. She died. <laughs> Speaking of Veronica, wonder where her and Serena are. Hope they're okay, wherever they are. I'm showing you here. There's no point in using Eric right now. You may have him back, 
but I would not recommend using them at this point in time. Because as you just saw, the skill tree is empty. He cannot gain any skills right now. Or abilities. Skill tree is gone. I, mean, I guess you can use them, but I wouldn't recommend it. Because right now, your other party member is kind of outclassing. That's not to say he's not good, because Eric is actually one of the best party members on the game. It's just right now, best just to keep him in the back row. In case you absolutely need him. Now you may have noticed that Jade was not in that scene. It's kind of like the whole Silvando rap thing all over again. Because you could have Jade in that scene. You could have Jade at that point, but you could also have Eric in um, the Jade scene in Octavania. However, if you have Eric, you can get Eric first and then go get Jade. But Eric would just stand around the background and not really say anything, but be kind of terrified <laughs> because he doesn't remember anything. No. <laughs> Poor guy. But you have to get Jade back no matter what, because you can't continue the game without her. Because of the harp, you need that. Walking away, so we've got to find another way in the city line. We're getting close to Arboria again. Hope they're okay. Who knows? Maybe Serena or Veronica will be there. Maybe. I could have this up, but eh, I didn't feel like it. But you watch some gameplay normally. Right now I am auto playing the fights, but. Mm. However, I may auto play some fights, but. There are some boss fights that I refuse to autoplay. But I don't always feel like, you know. But even though I'm not doing it, if your characters are weak, they're gonna die even in autoplay, so. You still have to grind. And you still have to make sure they're set up to be able to take it. Yeah, I believe, if I remember correctly, I do fight this boss. Yeah, without water play. And plus, honestly, auto play is a double edged sword. And like, yeah, it can be helpful and good and handle boss fights if you don't feel like putting any input. However, there are times where that could probably get you killed. Because the AI may not exactly do what they need to do. So there are times when you should probably be the one controlling it. And in case you're wondering, again, I've played this game six times. I've played myself constantly. The first few tries, I hardly ever touched autoplay. Ever. My first few playthroughs. Especially not on my strong gauntlet, my hard mode. That, I didn't trust the autoplay. <laughs> In the hard mode. I did that all myself. <laughs> and it was better that way. The 
<laughs> so a bit of advice, if you want to do hard mode in this game, don't use autoplay. Just do it yourself. It'd be strategic. Frankly, I do actually enjoy playing it myself. And I have, multiple times. I just. Sometimes when I'm recording, I just. I don't know. I get that. Yeah, when I go back to play some older games without it, that's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to do that. <sighs> One thing I wish is. That I was able to play Dragon Quest Builders 2 blind. If I got the PS4 version, that would have. That would have been fun. The game is great. Very great. I could play Dragon Warrior 3 blind. That would be fun. <laughs> Dragon Warrior 2, no. I am not playing that blind. Ugh. I mean, it wouldn't be entirely blind, because, uh, well... I actually played, um, at least a few minutes of Dragon Warrior 2. I was eventually like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and I basically see the story of Dragon Warrior 2, though, because of Dragon... Quest Builders 2 kind of talks about its plot a bit. Well, <laughs> what little plot it has. So, even if I did play Dragon Warrior 2, I would kind of know the plot. You know? And who the big baddie is, so. <laughs> The Builders team is great. It's fantastic. It's like Dragon Quest meets Minecraft. And maybe a bit Animal Crossing. It's really fun. And, well, there's RPG elements too. Because, of course, it would be Dragon Quest slash Warrior. I've been thinking of other games uh, to go back to. Like, I know I never completed 7. Final Fantasy 7. Or Final Fantasy 6. Oh, I myself have completed them. Hundreds of times. But I mean on the channel. Same with Final Fantasy 10. Love them though, they're really good. I had nothing against old games. Heck, I don't even see two I play blind. <laughs> that was fun. One was semi. And semi blind for three. Should I ever complete three? I don't know. I don't think I will. I know it's not a good look. You should probably be finishing your playthroughs. And I do have some that are complete. It's just harder for me to do blind anymore. Tells of Asperia was a big thing about that. Because that game was blind, and I loved it, and I love Tells of Asperia. It's fantastic. I did actually end up completing it on my own time. I did beat it. And I left it. And I just can't. I can't talk for long periods of time. Just not something I could do. Even doing this, I have to take breaks. Oh, it sucks because I love it. I love doing this. Wish I didn't have to take breaks. Oh 
Oh yeah, and Elizabeth in here. If you remember. He's the same guy who wrecked havoc on the mermaids and Nautica. So we're kinda getting revenge. And he's the exact reason we have to get Chay because of the harp. And well you kinda need your luminary powers because otherwise he'd be extremely hard to fight. Well I don't even know if you could beat him without your luminary powers. I think you have to have him. Have him back for this. And obviously more light harp you need back. To even get to sniff line even. I love turn based services. Nothing against action. I like action too. I'm so happy I got people on your C9 blind. That was fine. A part of me wishes I played this blind. This game. I also wish I wasn't spoiled. Mm -hmm. That's whatever. I'd be thinking because there is a marriage system in this game where you can marry or live with. I will be doing that. However, I'm not going to be the one deciding who we get with in this playthrough. That's going to be up to you guys. There's only a couple characters that are probably be excluded from that. And that's Rab and Veronica. They're the only two that will not be on the list. And I've been thinking about not having Eric on there. Only because he's kind of overpicked. Eric gets overpicked. So I'm almost thinking of excluding Eric too. I may not. Oh, I love Eric. I love him to death. But you see now, it'd be nice to be a little different and choose someone else. Yeah, thank you. Heck, we can even choose Gemma, I guess. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not a huge fan of choosing Gemma. Because you know her for such a little time in the game that, but yet you know all your party members for so much of the game that I'd rather be with my party members than Jenna. I know she's supposed to be canon, but yeah, Jenna's canon, but it's just one of the situations I'd rather someone in the party. Than your husband or her waifu. <laughs> I guess. But just to tell you, the girls are the romantic options, and all the boys are mostly just romance. For the most part. But you can look at it however you want to look at it. The reason why Rab and Veronica are excluded is, well, come on. <laughs> Just come on.
Enough of that. Just some MP back. And someone's dead. He had him stuff line soon. Get Hendrick buffed up. These muscles aren't for show. <laughs> Told you those muscles aren't for show. Finally, we got revenge for the mermaids. You sure you didn't already know that? I mean, <laughs> you already took out some of his men, so you think he may already know that we're alive. Like you think he probably has known, has known since, um, well, last Bastion, because there are enemies that got away. Unless they didn't realize that was a luminary <laughs> with a trick. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Let's just enjoy the ride. Right. We better get a move on. We need to give Mordigan a good hiding before any more beasties like that one come a growling. But first, we need to find out how we can hurt him. He still doesn't know you're alive, but it's only a matter of time. Best get a move on, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. On a raid, Radiant City. No. No, not going to say that. Hopefully we can find out more here. We can even help Eric somehow. Great if he knows when we're back. Would have been nice to have a bit more mystery. Stockholm, I mean, feels about. since I've been here. Hey. No, I remember the party members around, but it's hard to find them. <laughs> so we just talked to them a while ago.
color scheme here is kind of nice. Very vibrant. Here she is. Where's her other half? Cheer up, your majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? It's okay, Queen Stockholm. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Are you? Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. What's happened since last we met? Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. Gold fever. Sounds bad. We don't know what causes it or how to cure it. So every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. <laughs> I tried to send for help, but every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. Ah, uh, really? I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent, but they simply will not listen. I mean, how do you know for sure she's innocent? This awful mm. disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, Majesty. Then he looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. Everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, dear friends. Hmm. Let's go. Sorry, Eric, I'll figure some. We'll figure it out. Not the reason. Very good. Oh. Forty one episodes. It's not bad having this far in forty one episodes. This is a long game. Hey guys. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't mention it. I put Jade in her new costume. <laughs> yeah, I never mentioned it. Another thing I didn't mention is that when I first wear a costume on, a new one. The game actually bugged out. <laughs> what did it bug out? Like, the game didn't get hurt at all. The game didn't do anything. It's just her hair clipped into her costume. I didn't record it, I kind of felt like it, but yeah. It was pretty funny. Her hair just got clipped into her costume. Because of that, her hair started freaking out all over the place. It was pretty funny. Jade was having a bad hair day. Yeah, I was doing uh, quests and stuff off screen. Uh oh, what's wrong? No, this can't be happening. Uh -oh. What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? Careful. 
Also, don't eat China Bone. Are you okay? Eric, what's wrong? Tell me where it hurts. I heard the commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. You know him? Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. All right. Oh, Eric. Something about gold triggering something? So you have PTSD? Eric and sister, she died. That's sad. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might. I said stop. Eric. I need to be alone for a while. Forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Yeah. Please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Yeah, that was pretty tactless. Eric. Eric. Run away. It's your boy. Uh -huh. Snow ears. They're always pretty. Eric, 
Hey, you're on your costume. This doesn't look good. Is that Eric? That ship, if the town's people shouts out anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Yeah, it doesn't seem that way. We should probably take care of that, shouldn't we? Can I really trust you with Eric? Or are you going to lose him? Ugh. Gil digger. Guess what that's a pun of. <laughs> yeah, we better get over there now. Well, I'm gonna wait a second while we heal. Make sure we're prepared. Because right now I'm saying, yeah, we'll be fighting. We're all ready to go. Better be safe than sorry. Hey, losers. Gil digger. The monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be there doing? Could be. Yeah, let me hear. No, no, that's not how gonna work. We're gonna bury you. Not really fast. Go up, be thrashed. We land, we'll dash. Take it, not the trash. Might be a bit above level. That's okay. In case you're always wondering, you can remove the luminary out of your party if you want. I mean, luminary is pretty useful though. I don't really see a reason why you have to, but you could remove the luminary if you really, really wanted to. Yeah. Quickly. 
Dang it. We told the priest to watch him. Oh. We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Yes. Exactly, you're supposed to be watching them. Oh, Eric. Ah. We'll save him. He'll be kidnapped for long. Poor boy. Says. Do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. Yeah, that's true. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling stones! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. That's odd. Wait a moment. The way they spoke. The ship they sailed in. Could they be? No, I had the very same thought. Yes. I thought maybe those kings had usurped the villains. But it seems they are them. But how? Now they're monsters. She will go. We'll save Eric next time. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you soon. What? Say enough. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah.